For a city its size, San Antonio has a surprising lack of violent crime. There are also very few police-related shootings. So few that most cops here don't like to talk about it. Nobody wants to press their luck. Most officers make it through their careers without being involved in a shooting. I didn't even make it through my rookie year. I came on duty at 22.30 or 10.30 that night. Regular patrol duty. Making my calls, making my traffic stops. It was a pretty slow night. Officer Juan Morales, San Antonio Police Department. Can I see your driver's license, please? I wasn't speeding, officer. I know it wasn't speeding. You're not wearing your seatbelt. Don't wear one. They're always too tight. You know what I mean? They're not as tight as a six-foot box. You know what I mean? Your license, please. Don't got one. You don't have it or you don't have it with you? Don't got one. Judge took it away from me. You suspended? Could you step out of the vehicle, please? Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. I'm headed out of town. I'm going home, then I'm driving straight to Austin. I'll be out of your heart. You expect me to let you drive another 60 miles without your license? Been doing okay so far. You step out of the vehicle, please. Turn around. Put your hands on the vehicle. Give me your hand. Busted, man? I'm afraid so. In the previous month, I had written 90 traffic tickets, which is about three times the average. A lot of them were for no seatbelt. I had a couple of friends who'd been hurt because they weren't wearing their seatbelts. And I just wanted to let people know, wear your seatbelt. It doesn't cost you anything, and it'll save your life someday. About the time I was taking this prisoner in, Texas Department of Public Safety Trooper Carlos Ray Warren was pulling into a highway rest area 60 miles north of San Antonio on the outskirts of Austin. He found a brown Chevrolet parked in the darkness. later by another trooper and managed to give a brief description of the shooter's car before he died. Every police department around Austin was looking for that car, but San Antonio never got a bolo or be on the lookout call. Around 3 a.m., I was on my way to meet a friend for lunch at a nearby diner, but I saw this car on the highway. It was just me and him. I looked over as I passed to see if he was wearing a seatbelt. He wasn't. I hit my overheads in the siren, and I flashed him with my brights. He pulled right over. The cars were offset, mine almost into the highway lane. This way, my car splits his in half, giving me a safety area if there's any trouble. I figured, a real quick ticket, and then I'm on to lunch. So I made sure that he wasn't doing anything like reaching under the seat or behind him. When you pull somebody over, the first thing they do is go for their driver's license. That's the first thing that struck me as odd. He wasn't moving at all. Some cops get criticized for putting their hand on their gun as they walk up on a traffic stop. They say it's too intimidating, too aggressive. But I always do it. When I walk up on any car, day stop, night stop, I always unsnap the snap and put my hand on my gun because you never know. I tested the trunk to 
make sure it wasn't open so nobody could jump me. I tested the doors, the whole bit, just the way we're trained in the academy. Officer Morelli, San Antonio Police Department, can I see your driver's license, please? Please, please. The gun was about 10 inches from my face, staring at me, point blank. I don't know why I'm still here. I saw the bullet come out of the gun. I felt a blast in my face. My glasses saved my vision from the initial flash and concussion. I don't know exactly where that bullet went. I just know it didn't hit me. I drew my service revolver and fired once into the car, hitting him in the left shoulder. I backed to the cover of my patrol vehicle. His feet were hanging out, and he was leaning back in. So I was shooting at where I thought he was lying. But I didn't know if I was hitting him or not. All I knew was that I needed to stop him. 6220, I'm out with shots fired. Southbound 35 north of division. Where are you, 6220? Southbound 35 north of division. Southbound 35 north of division. Start me EMS, a sergeant, lieutenant, and a shooting team. 6220, are you... He was moving around in the car, so I hit my emergency tone and went off the air. I saw him moving around, and I figured, okay, here we go. Round two. And I'm waiting. until I was transported to homicide for questioning. Juan. Yeah. Were you ever in front of the car? No. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. What's the matter? Man, your story don't match with the evidence. There's bullet holes in the front of the car. Somebody shot at it from the front. trooper was killed tonight up in Austin. The shooter was driving a tan car. I think the trooper might have put four or five rounds in it. Oh, man. Killed the cop one. Could have killed you, too. Had I known that Mancillo was the suspect, or that a vehicle of this description was involved in a shooting, I never would have walked up to the car. I would have ordered him out of his vehicle from the safety of my cruiser. But that's not what happened. Most cops make it through their careers without firing their weapons in the line of duty, let alone shooting somebody. I would have liked to spend my career the same way. But that's not what happened either. 6020, I'll be back in service. 